Hello everyone, uh, I just want to quickly show you the updates for the Mega Menu Pro version 1.1. So there are a lot of changes, massive changes that have come. Um, I'm going to quickly run through this. So uh, we have the decluttered structured panel, we've removed the extra divs for the elements um, for overlay, adaptive height and the menu width. And we have support for multi-row header now in, in the mobile. I'm going to show you all this uh, for mobile menu. We have more styling options and we have the big one here. This is massive. This is going to blow you away. This is one of the best things that has happened to this template. Mega menu custom size and positioning. I'm going to show you that. And we have the overlay header option and we now support the bricks extras header row. And we have a lot of other fixes and improvement here. I'm going to show you all that. Uh, notice that the structure panel is Decluttered, so we don't have the extra D for the overlay and the animation height and the animation height actually now has been renamed to Adaptive height that is actually the real name and that's what it should have been called from the beginning So it is adaptive height. Okay So in bricks if you wanted to work with the mega menu drop down and you want to size it You will have to go to after selecting the mega menu uh, drop down You'll have to go to the content and you have to go to the mega menu and then here you have to put the ID or the selector of the elements that is on the page whose width you want the mega menu to adapt. You, if you put your header selector here it's going to take in the it's going to take the width of your header selector. If you create a div let's say that div was 900 uh, pixels wide and then you use the selector and put here it's going to take up that width and and there is just no way for you to align it uh, so you can say I'm going to I want to align my stuff to the, the left or to the right of the parent uh, but in this update you don't need to do any of that we've cancelled this option so this option is not uh, available so to do that the, the instructions are here but I'm just going to quickly show you I'm going to click here to select the drop down content and I'm going to go to the style attribute and we have style here I've already set a width to 180 now the default width if you don't want a width here you could always leave it empty and the default width is already set in the style options here and I'm gonna show you that later so right now uh, the width is 180 pixels so what if we want it to be like uh, shorter like uh, 640 pixels you can see that um, it's 640 pixels so I'm gonna save that and let's look at the front end and it's 640 pixels uh, right now by default it is aligning to the header but what if I wanted to align to its parent? So I'm going to go to the align option and just say center. And I go, I'm going to save that. And that is going to make it align to the center of the parent. Okay. Uh, if I wanted to align to the left of the parent, uh, I'm going to say left. Save. It's going to align to the left of the parent. What if I wanted to align to the right of the parent? Right. And I'm going to save that. And it's going to align to the right of the parent so you could do this for each drop down okay and if you want it all of them to just everything to align to the center so if you don't put any value here it's going to default to aligning to your header so i'm going to take this width back to uh let's say 1080 pixels so let's say you don't want to give any of your content any width but you want them to diff all of them to be the default width so instead of setting the width here I'm gonna remove it from here and let's say you have a couple of mega menus and you don't want to set the width individually you could just remove that value and then you would go to the, uh, the this code block menu styles and options and you're going to see um, an option here uh, that says drop down content default width so if I say I want to set that default width to 1200 pixels um, take note that the size of this I'm gonna save that Okay, so something's wrong there. So we actually have to go here and we actually remove that completely. So you don't want to have anything there. Okay, so you're taking that off completely. And yeah, and so we have a thousand. So that, that is going to be the default for all of them. Uh, so I'm going to duplicate this. So I now have two mega menus. So one is going to have. Uh, one both of them are the same but let's say for this one i wanted it to be drop down content with you can see it here you can reference it from here drop down content with i want this to be let's say 640 pixels and i want this to align to the now i want to do something i want it to align to the left of the parents now notice 
that um let's go there align it to the left and save so let's see what happens so it aligns to the left okay but what if you had a screen size that was much smaller or let's say we wanted to increase the width notice that if we increase the width to let's say 1200 it's going to be larger and there's a possibility of it overflowing but let's see how it handles that i'm going to take this to 1200 and let's save and see what happens because we're aligning it to the left here and you see that it doesn't overflow it automatically moves over you know it adjusts itself because it detects a collision with the edge of the screen okay so it doesn't it doesn't force itself to align to the edge but if we are on a very large screen you can see now there's enough gap and it will automatically align to the left but as the screen as you know the screen gets smaller it, it moves away you know it keeps moving away from you know over overflowing so that is uh one nice feature that has been built in there um so in this case it's probably good to align it to the right and i will just do that now i have a, a multi-row in the previous version when you go to the mobile menu and you have that and you open the mobile menu you can see that you have this large space at the top so it just doesn't it doesn't account for the space at the top when you open the menu like when i open the menu it still opens like this now uh, if you're using a, a, a header row that is large like that i mean i wouldn't recommend that you could go to the header and then you could go to the data attributes and you just say it has multi-row yeah true and that will optimize the mobile menu to you know function correctly okay so we can see that we have these um, behave correctly and you can see it automatically adds a, a mobile menu logo all right for you uh, now if we go in here and look at the mobile logo it, it there's an entity basically now what happens here is automatically um, use the desktop menu that was already here for the mobile menu if you don't want that you could hide it there's an option to turn it off okay you can actually hide it by going to the header and then you can say hide hide mobile logo so you don't want it to show up so it's not going to show up it's just going to show the regular stuff okay and then you have the overlay header uh, what does that do so i'm going to just take away this multi-row uh, container let's just remove that okay and i'm gonna go here it has multi row no more overlay header check this to true and let's look at what that does okay so this is how the you know overlay header is um, if you notice uh, it's semi-transparent but you could always edit all that so if we go into the style and options and we could go to the css okay so if you scroll all the way down and you will see overlay so okay so we have these options we have the insets so the hanging indents like not indent actually but how it hangs off this we can change that we could change the, the color so right now we have the background color of uh, so if we make this like zero opacity um, it will be completely transparent you can see completely transparent and then of course you have these many items with their background you could let's forget about that you could always change that um, but what if you wanted it to be full width okay and the width you could just say the width is a hundred percent and let's do that and you see it's full width and if you want to remove that hanging that padding around it uh, that is the inset you could just change that to zero uh, with zero you don't need ram that's one of the units you don't really need to put a unit when it is zero and it fills up if you don't want the shadow what do you do you take it off so you have the shadow you could just change this to zero or just write none so let's change it to zero in case you want to reintroduce it um all right so it is overlay okay but then what if you you really need to change the background of the menu items so we could go all the way up to the menu items background uh, many items bg so we go to background and we just change that to initial or transparent initial means uh, the way the default state of the ele the elements in in the html you know so it doesn't really have that now you can see that when we when we hover on this this changes to white now this is the default behavior because it just draws attention to the navigation area 
But um, of, of course, we still have, if you notice, we still have the border radius. We're going to fix that. Now, uh, the header active background, that's what it's called. So here, uh, I'm going to change that border radius to zero. And then uh, the, the overlay header active background, I'm just going to change that to initial. That means I don't want it. All right. So we're not going to have that effect anymore when it reloads. So we don't have that effect again. Um, you could always change the hover, you know, color, the transparent if you don't want. Everything is customizable. All right, so that's just a quick run through of the notable updates in this version. And I'm working on video documentation for each of these features and how to use them. So stay tuned. The videos are going to be coming in and you will be informed. Thank you very much. Bye.